So Juneteenth, so essentially 1863, President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation that was basically signifying that slaves in the rebel states were being freed. But unfortunately, and we can debate about why it happened or not, a good number of slaves were not freed until 1865. And so what Juneteenth commemorates is specifically um, General Granger and the Union Army marched into Galveston, Texas. They essentially announced that the president had signed the Emancipation Proclamation two years ago and that now the slaves were free. And so that's what Juneteenth commemorates. My name is Jamie Boston, and I'm the founder of the annual Kensington Juneteenth Celebration. When we moved into Kensington, the story goes in terms of how this event came about was that I come from a pretty big family, and so my family kind of hit me up and said, hey, when are we going to come see the house? You know, when are we going to do a housewarming, do a party or something? Long story short, I had a kind of light bulb moment, and I said, okay, I want to do something unique for my family. And so I said, I'm going to do a, a cookout, but I'm going to do a Juneteenth cookout, essentially. And so I did that, invited my neighbors, invited my family members, and it was so well received. Um, we had a program in the middle of the cookout, so it wasn't just a normal cookout. And during that program, I actually said, hey, you know, I've fallen in love with my new community, and I really think this is the type of place where we could do a, a bigger type of Juneteenth celebration. And if you want to make the world a better place, why not start with you, yourself, your own community, your own home? One of my neighbors is a, is a state delegate. She heard me make that comment. She came to me weeks later and said, hey, I remember what you said. And I think you're right. She said, look, I'm gonna introduce you to some people and then why don't you see what happens? And so got introduced to some council members and most importantly, I got introduced to the Kensington Racial Justice Committee and then basically the rest is history. And so now I'm happy to say we've had our second annual Kensington celebration and uh, we keep growing. The whole reason why I did it in my backyard was because it was inspired by my girls. When I realized I didn't know much about Juneteenth, it became clear that I needed to educate my girls. Particularly as an African-American father, I thought it was important for me to start teaching my kids about Juneteenth. And that's really the true inspiration behind the whole event. You're gonna learn about places and things that you didn't know existed. And more importantly, again, we're gonna talk about how do we recognize what happened, acknowledge what happened, but how we're gonna move forward. And so if you come here, you're gonna be overwhelmed by the amount of history that you're gonna learn from the local level, from the state level, and even the national level. The entertainment is great. We have a beer garden with primarily black owned businesses as well as for the food trucks we have. And if they're not black owned, they're gonna be local. So we're supporting our own, so to speak. And it's just a welcoming event. It's for everybody, family, friends, black, white, gay, straight, whatever it might be. There's a place for you. We have a part of our ceremony is a, a spiritual piece where we invite all the different clergy from around the community, all the different faiths. And so it's about coming together and moving forward. And so I invite all of you to please show up and, and just enjoy yourself and learn more importantly when you come next year.